Thanks, Jane. We have a huge weekend, a huge month on the way here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And what better guest to talk about that than the president of Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Doug Bowles. Uh, Mr. Bowles, thanks for joining us here. Beautiful weather and beautiful scene here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Yeah, it's an opening day for us to get the month of May kicked off and getting sunshine like this makes it a lot of fun for us and for the fans. Absolutely. And speaking of the nice weather, I know we're talking Indy 500, but we did a lot of coverage of the solar eclipse. It's very close to us and smack dab right here in Indianapolis. You guys hosted a huge event for that. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so in, on April 8th, 2018, we said we're going to host a watching party. And then this year we actually did. We had 50,000 people here, most of them on the race track watching the solar eclipse. It was a really cool moment. It was a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. And, and for our fans to be here and have a great time, we really enjoyed it. 33 countries of people were here. Every state in the union was here. It was just pretty cool. A lot of those people have never been here before, so it was a great way to bring people to the Speedway. Absolutely. We, uh, as a meteorologist, I was also geeking out about it, so no worries there. But we're here for IndyCar, IndyCar Racing, and just a huge month that is yep. on the way. You can tell us about what this month, with the Grand Prix this weekend, kicking it off, and then obviously the Indy 500 at the end of the month, what that means to Indianapolis and, and to this track. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the 11th year we've kicked the month of May off with a road race, the NTT IndyCar Series drivers running on the road on the road course tomorrow then we'll convert the racetrack after mother's day and we'll get ready for the 108th running of the indianapolis 500 kind of like the kentucky derby we got you know basketball and racing is something that indiana and kentucky both do really well and so we'll get ready to go but this is a huge event we'll have 330,000 people here on race day inside the racetrack second largest city in the state of indiana is right here and that that's incredible for sure and something new coming at the end of the summer will return to something old the 30th anniversary yes. of the brickyard nascar race here in indianapolis nascar went to racing at the road course but now they're going back to the oval can you tell us about what that means especially on an anniversary date like the 30th year yeah i'm really excited about it because it is the anniversary of the 30th anniversary of jeff gordon winning the first brickyard 400 so going back to that this year i think it's going to be really special and the drivers are pretty excited about going back to the oval so we'll see how it goes our ticket sales are up because i think people want to see that on the oval the new car that's been out the last couple of years the nascar has never raced on our oval so it'll be interesting to see how the competition is but it is important on the 30th year to put them back on the oval and speaking of uh nascar NASCAR drivers and NASCAR. Well, one NASCAR driver is attempting to do the double with the NASCAR race at Charlotte um, and the Coca-Cola 600 and also the Indianapolis 500. And it's a dirt guy. We covered local dirt racing on ABC 36 in Lexington, Kentucky. Maybe bringing, for the first time since Tony Stewart and the Jeff yep. Gordons, you know, that dirt racing fan yep. to Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Can you tell, that? tell no, us about that? It's really important because, as you know, short track is the heartbeat of motorsports. So when you can get short track fans to get excited because of one of their drivers, whether they're in NASCAR or IndyCar, that brings a lot of people out and we haven't really had a dirt track driver run the Indianapolis 500 since Brian Clawson did it five or six years ago uh, and so to get Kyle Larson maybe the best race car driver on the planet at the moment to try and do that double that day is going to be an awful lot of fun he's got a sprint car race he's doing here in Indiana on Monday night so it's going to be fun to have Kyle and he's done so far it's done really well so far in his testing absolutely his racing series is coming to Kentucky at the end of the summer as well so that's going to be a big event what's your message to fans maybe making the trip up from Lexington whether it's tomorrow for the race or later in the month for the Indianapolis 500. What's your message to them? Well, if you've never been here before, I encourage you to come up on a practice or qualifying weekend for the Indy 500. And, and 15 and under are free on those days. Bring your kids up. We want you to have a, have a great time. If you're coming to the Indy 500, make sure you have your tickets. We're really close to being sold out. And there's nothing like celebrating Memorial Day weekend right here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with 330,000 of your closest friends. Absolutely. It's going to be a wild time for sure. Looking forward to that. And thank you for joining us here. Jane, TG, back to you guys.